Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the entire Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day collection. I know, I know, I'm so excited. I haven't reviewed really a lot of Kylie's newer stuff just because it's just not really kind of grabbed my attention, but this collection really did. So if you're excited to see my thoughts, the look I come up with and all that fun stuff, then go ahead and keep watching. I got the entire Valentine's Day collection. They had several different options and bundles. I'm not gonna go through all of those, but the two that I was looking for was the PR bundle and just the regular, like the full collection just without the PR box. I saw the PR box and it was like $365 and I said, I'm just gonna get the collection because I don't need to pay $130 for a box. So the entire bundle, like the whole collection on launch was $232, but I will tell you individually what each individual item is. So here it is, here it is. Ah! Before we do start the look, I'm gonna do the lip balm set that comes with it. It is three lip balms that you get and they're three different colors. You have a light pink, a medium pink, and a dark pink. I highly doubt that they're super pigmented just because they're lip balms, but this is from Kylie Skin. The lip balms were $29. Yeah, so the lip balms were $29. I'm just gonna show you briefly because they're just, honestly, they're just lip balms. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a lip balm, but I guess technically, like, you could. <laughs> but usually you can't. So we have... This one, which is strawberry, cherry, and then candy heart. So I think I'm gonna go in the strawberry because it's the latest one. And I'm not trying to give my lips like a lot of color. Oh, that's actually really nice. It is really, really nice. Oh, I fucking love this. It's like lip gloss and a thicker lip oil had a baby. And this came out of it. So this is clear. Just like I said, I didn't think that they were different colors. I just think they're different scents. Yep, that's clear too. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They're they're all clear, okay? I thought that they were going to be colorful and that kind of was like, mm, but they're all clear. Look at that. Like, just look at that. looks so good. So this is the palette, the Unicarton of the palette. And it is a 12-pan palette. It's a pressed powder palette and this one retails for by itself $30. She never really gives her palettes names like that. The box itself, so this is like losing glitter. If you look here, like glitter's getting everywhere. But it's really, really cute. It's always cute. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. She has some of the best packaging, like, ever. Even if you don't like Kylie Cosmetics, like, you can't, like, say that she doesn't have amazing packaging because she just truly does. So this is what the actual palette itself looks like. And it is cardboard. It does have a heart-shaped mirror here. And just as a quick view, I'm just gonna give you like a quick view of the palette. It is heart shapes. It has lots of pinks, some gold, some neutrals, shimmers, glitters, and mattes, which is exciting. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna go into um, Forever After, which by the way, the names are on the front of the palette, which I love. So I'm going into Forever and Ever, which is a peachy orange. So I got some pigment there. At first I was, I was scared. So the palette smells really nice too. Like it has like a sweet, like chocolatey smell maybe. I don't know, but it smells good. So this is definitely like a tangerine orange I'm working with. I'm just buffing that out from the crease to my brow bone. I will say that the color of the palette is kind of weird. I, I just feel like it doesn't really scream Valentine's Day to me. It has like orange tangerines. I mean there are three pink shades, but then there's like these other really weird colors like cherries and cream is kind of like a mauve color and then you have like a khaki color and then love song is possibly white like a white pink i don't know so now i think i'm gonna go into by the fire which is this orange color right here coral maybe these just are not it's not really giving me valentine's day vibes i'm not gonna lie to you guys so i'm just placing this color all over my lid and then up into like the crease where i place that other orangey color. That one was a really pigmented color and there's not a lot of fallout in that color which I kind of assumed there would be because it is such a pigmented color. So I'm just going back in with that light orange color. I just have a little bit on my brush and I'm just blending it out so that it looks even. 
I guess it's just not your traditional Valentine's Day palette. I mean, I don't know, maybe she wanted to be different. Which I get, like, you know, Valentine's Day. Lots of pinks, lots of reds, and how many people usually wear those colors, honestly? I believe that this palette is a lot more wearable than like an all pink, all red palette would be. So I think I'm gonna go into He's Mine and just put that on the center, almost like a halo situation. Hopefully it comes off as gold as it is on my finger. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, actually I'm gonna go all over the lid with that. So it's kind of like a translucent gold. So it's not, I feel like if I wet it or something, it would be way more like gold, but because it's so like a topper almost dry, I'm able to go in here and make this look like it's a shimmery coral color. I love that. So now I'm gonna go back in, but I'm gonna go with that lighter forever and ever and just kind of blend where I placed that shimmer. And if you guys haven't noticed, I lifted my camera slightly. One, so when I'm doing this, you can still see what I'm doing because I've noticed with a lot of my makeup videos that I'll be talking and have the mirror so close to my face because I'm blind um, that you can't really see anything. So at least if it's like that, then you can still see it. I don't know. If you absolutely hate it, I can change it, but... And I also am kind of glad that I didn't do a pink look because I feel like everyone's going to do a pink look with this. But I'm going to go quickly through and just swatch the colors that I did not show you. Also, I don't like that they're heart shaped because they're hard to get my little fat fingers in them. I'm just saying. We have Adore You, You Up, Be Good To Me, and then Peace Of Heaven. Oh, that pink is... Oh! could have definitely done that. I just feel like everyone's gonna do that so I'm glad I didn't focus on pink but like part of me is like I should have so those are the four this one right here the you up or be good to me you can barely see because it's like my skin color but these are the other ones very pretty the next three are from the middle row which is can't compete chocolate strawberries and love songs which is like a cool tone grayish white oh my god that is a horrible Ugh, that is not a good shade I mean it's I don't think it's meant to be very bright but like it looks like I'm just ashy so here's that and I'm really put it on there yeah I just don't think that that is that's not my jam so I like the other two though if you guys want to see more looks with the same palette, I will get more looks with the same palette. Just comment below and let me know what colors you want me to use and I'll create looks with them. Like, it doesn't have to be a new palette every time I pop on camera. It can be the same palette if you guys want it to be. So this is from the last row. These are the two that I really, really want to try on my eyes. And we have All For You and then Cherries and Cream. Oh my god, I think these are going to be like just so stunning together. Oh, okay. And then the He's Mine and By the Fire and Forever and Ever are on my eyes. So we're done with the palette for right now. I have glitter from that stinking unicorn all over me. Okay, so I almost set my eyes, but then I forgot that there are these. So these are the Kylie Make Him Blush Cream Blush Sticks. So I didn't want to set my under eyes and put more cream products on because I did use a cream bronzer. Um, anything that I used off camera because obviously I did my complexion. Um, I will link below as always so you guys know what I used uh, because I sometimes do stuff off camera. So this is the Make Him Blush. Then you have Hey Sugar. And then you have Cupid's Crush. So I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is like really, really cute. I'm not going to keep this packaging, but I do find that this is a really cute package. So let's open her up, shall we? It is cute, but I just, I am to the point in my life where I love packaging. I love components. I love all of that, but I don't collect it anymore um, unless it's like, oh, you know what I mean? Um, I just don't. So here is the shape of the component. It's a heart. So that is cute. They all have the same stickers. 
So they all have the same stickers. They all have the same labels. So I guess it's just kind of anyone's guessing game. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. And this one is Make Him Blush. And I'm just going to swatch it across my skin. It was kind of stiff at first, but after I swatched it twice, it was pretty creamy. And then this bright pink one is going to be Cupid's Crush. This is like pink, pink. Probably going to be the one I use unless there's an orange one up in here. I just stuck my nail in that. Damn it. Oh, there is an orange one. Uh, yes. Y'all know how I feel about orange blushes. This will be the blush I use today. And this one is... My Sugar, Hey Sugar. This one is Hey Sugar. So we have Hey Sugar, Cupid's Crush, and Make Him Blush. So a darker mauve red color, a hot pink, and then an orange. Um, I feel like these would be okay for most undertone or most skin tones. I just wish there might have been like a redder, darker one for a little bit darker undertone. So I'm not going to put this directly on my face. I never do that anymore. Um, I'm just going to go onto it with my beauty blender and pick some of that color up. Oh wow, it's really pretty. Oh, and this is that orange one and it's like an orangey pinky color. It's really pigmented, so a little bit does go a long way. I've been loving cream blushes lately, so I'm glad that she did this. I'm actually really loving this collection so far. Like, truly, I haven't loved a Kylie collection in quite a while. I won't lie to you guys. This is the Dream About Me, and this is a highlighter. So this is what the component looks like. It's cute. It's heavy duty, actually. Like, legitimately. Weird. So it does have a 3D heart shape. This is bumped out. So if you look, hopefully like it's all one color. I don't like when things are raised. I don't, like if it's slightly raised, I can kind of get over it. But when they're like really raised, I'm not the biggest fan. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. I'll give it a swirl with my finger. Mm. It is like a goldy color, which is fine. Is that a golden pink color? Oh, it's a golden pink color. Here's my other problem. It's really, really glittery. I'm really hoping that that does not come off. Glitter, and it's powdery. All right, let's see what we have. So, <laughs> I don't mind it. Like, looking at the camera, it doesn't look, or looking at the monitor, it doesn't look terrible. It does pull out a lot of my texture because it is kind of glittery. However, I will also inform you, it's pink. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's all right. So it, you think that it's going to be gold and it does shimmer gold in some ways, but for the most part, I mean, it takes on like whatever blush I have. That is really bomb. Like that's really bright. <laughs> um, it does take on whatever color I have underneath. However, I will tell you, I can see the pink. You probably can't see it on camera as much <laughs> as I can see it like on my face but it is a really really bright highlighter so I am I'm not the biggest fan of this highlighter I don't hate it it is like really messy but I don't I don't hate it I just don't it's probably my least favorite so far of products just because it, it is very glittery like powdery um and it does reflect pink so on top of like a pink tone or warm tone blush that's gonna look really really nice but I think that if you pop this on more of a cool tone shade range it might look a little weird just a little I'm just saying 
could be brown but i'm just saying so i'm gonna go underneath and i'm just going to do my under eye which i mean if you guys have been here it doesn't it's not really that big of a deal like it's just a quick process it's just a quick i'm just gonna put exactly what i have on the other eye under the eye so i'm going in by the fire and i'm just gonna blend that up to me I love you. So pretty. Doesn't it look like two different colors? Like this looks like it's pink. I'm gonna have to go over it with some of that light orange color. So what I need to do is go into that forever and ever and just blend some of that on here to bring out the more orangey tones in that color into the coral color. Mm, it definitely looks like it maybe it's just like the way no it definitely looks so much pinker let me know down below if you see that or if maybe i'm just mick crazy pants all right so i'm gonna go into lashes these are false lashes faux one pair does it say what they're called no just says false lashes, so let's see. These don't be individual lashes like that freaking Halloween one was. That pissed me off so bad. I do not care for individual lashes. Ah! They are whole lashes. But I'm gonna have to measure them because they look extremely long. They're very lightweight. It was easy to maneuver, but I will definitely say they're pretty cheaply made pretty cheaply made and these lashes are $18 which if I'm being straight with you guys I would not pay $18 for these lashes no ma'am so I feel like I've paid for Coco lashes I think they're called Coco lashes um off of Lady Moss's website and they were like a dollar fifty and they were better quality than these lashes so they're not awful but unless you're getting them on sale, like 90% off, I wouldn't pay for them. Okay, there are three different lip options. So you have the high glosses. Yeah, so this is the lip gloss set and there are three of them in here. There are mini lip glosses and they are $48. They are light, weight, and high shine. Also filled with glitter. It's very similar to the blushes where it has like a very traditional pink a mauvey like darker tone and then that peachy orange so we have february bay and also how cute like i think that this is like really really cute packaging but i'm going to be honest with you it reminds me of lime crime so i'm just trying them on oh my god so it smells good but I'm just gonna try these on for you guys. So I do like her high gloss um, product, but I don't think that's what this is because this is definitely, definitely not the high gloss formula. So that's February Bay. They are pigmented, not as pigmented as you would think. So these are definitely not the high glosses. This is a lip, regular lip gloss. 111 in the clouds. 111 in the cloud. I don't know what that even means. Uh Okay, this is my favorite. This is literally identical to my lip color, but like glossy. 111 in the clouds. It's that mauve color. This is actually my favorite one so far. I've only done two. But and we're gonna go into the third mini, which is Eight, seven, oh, Miss Jenner. So this one is not 111. That's just the product number. This one is in the clouds. This one is Miss Jenner, which is like an orangey color. I think this is going to look atrocious on my lips. And it does. Any, well, it's not the worst, but any pale peachy glosses on my lips are just not it like it's just not it just makes me look kind of sick but I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I kind of love this gloss 
because it's not like super pigmented so it's like hey hey babe I love this okay so those were the glosses $48 let me tell you what let me tell you what I love these I think that they're cute I think that they're very like travel friendly because they're small I'm not paying $50 for three little lip glosses so that won't be like the only time that happens but if you want like something cute something trending something from Kylie like I think it's like you're gonna like it if you get it but I don't know that I would ever pay. I don't know that I would have paid that had I known that that's how much they were so I have two lip kits Ooh. so I have two lip kits okay we love the packaging but we're not hoarders anymore we don't keep packaging and we have no one's baby and about last night so they're both matte they both come in like this cherry packaging so this one is no one's baby it's very pink-esque and I'm going to be swatching that for you as well I just want to make sure that there's not a darker one because if there's a darker one I want to put that one on first no so this is probably the one I'm going to end up with. So I'm going to do um, No One's Baby first to swatch. So traditional lip pencil from Kylie. My least favorite lip pencil. So creamy, but these like fall out. I'm going to go into the lipstick. It smells like lip gloss or it smells like lipstick. Hmm. It is definitely the newer formula where it's just more lightweight. It's definitely less drying. I do, I will say that um, her new lipstick formula is better in my opinion. I do know that a lot of the lip colors were not the same and she um, didn't really address that and never really has. But I will tell you, this formula, it doesn't drag down as fast, but it does not leave me with that crumbly, mumbly, cracky mess. So these I feel like are just so much better, so much better in my opinion. So this one is No One's Baby. It is definitely more like a, I want to say true babyish pink, like a blush pink. It's very pretty. Very pretty, I love it. All right, we're gonna go into the last item. And also the lip kits were $29. So you get a lipstick and a pencil. Um, and I think that's, it, yeah you can't get those like bundled or anything all right so let's give this a go this one is called about last night <laughs> oh what about it oh I need to get my lips done I just want a little bigger upper lip and less wrinkles this one is a little streakier just a little sorry if you're here Emma she just wants to be up here with mom so I I like this one um it is a little streaky but here's my thing I need to swatch these yeah one is definitely a little bit darker but I swear to you like they almost look exactly the same like one is just a just a smidge darker and the paler one is a little bit streakier than the darker one like these are like really really close so this one is just a just not that much darker so I wish that these would have been like more largely different if that makes any sense I do understand that these are definitely very universal shades so maybe that's kind of why they went with it um, again I just think that I don't understand um, a lot of this collection so I'm assuming it was like a like an orangey peachy vibe which is fine 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 but everything is red that there's not much red or pink going on and everything is just very orangey tangerine -y, but like there's there's cherries everywhere so that is one thing that I'm kind of just like I don't marketing I need you to get to me on that one send me an email and DM me help me understand um, why we have cherries all over everything but the uh, the launch is more I feel like tangerine orangish I mean it doesn't freaking matter really that's just me being petty 
um, but this is the look that I came up with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We love it. It almost looks like every other look I do because I love orange. I love orange colors on me. I think that they're so flattering. I think that they're so pretty. Orange, just medium, tan, medium skin. I just really, really love oranges. But now that I'm done, um, you know, hyping myself up, let's talk about the do's and the don'ts, the wills and the won'ts, the you shoulds and you shouldn't. So I do really, really like the palette. I think for $30, you're getting 12 shadows. It is really cute. Again, it's going to be like kind of like, mm, um, is it a must have? No. Is it a, if you buy it, you're going to like it? Yes. That's the kind of vibe and situation this one gives off. I think that it's a beautiful palette. I think it worked out really nice. I think the formula was great. I just don't, I don't know. I think like if I pulled this palette, I would definitely want to pull from other palettes to kind of mix with it. So that's a thumbs up. The lashes, I don't have the container for some reason, but the lashes are my eyes. Um, I think that if these lashes cost me two to three bucks, I would buy them again. Uh, as for $18, not a chance. I think that is outrageous, um, Kylie, for the very synthetic, very like thin and just, um, cheap way that they feel also what is this ew i'm putting a gloss on i hate that for me i'm getting some kind of like that that's why i hate wearing light glosses ah <gasps> favorite lip combo oh my god i love this these are perfect so this one i'm gonna tell you what it is hold on hold on okay but why is that mm, it's so good i love this okay favorite lip combo so that one is the uh, about last night about last night so about last night and in the clouds you need those you, you need if you like my skin tone maybe you need those they look so good anyways back to what i was saying so lashes palette yes lashes no lip glosses um i really like them i think they smell really nice i think they feel really nice but they're not overly pigmented so you can put a bunch of different colors on and they're also not over overly thick so they're very hydrating very glossy they smell but not overpowering however i cannot in my right mind recommend you paying 50 dollars for three mini lip glosses will i buy these again Probably because I really love these. Like, you guys, look, rewind the video, okay? Go back and look at those. They look so good on me, and it's hard for me to find, like, pigmented glosses that I, I don't feel like look like, oh, you know what I mean? And then this combo, I will be buying more. Can, Kylie Cosmetics, can you make this one individually? So I can buy a shit ton of them. It's the in the clouds. So I would say yes, I do like these. If you have a treat yourself moment, if you want to tell somebody to buy you something really cute and really expensive for Valentine's Day or free birthday, yes. However, do I think they, they're like a must-have situation? No, I don't. I think for $50, you're just like, mm, you know, mm, $50. The highlighter, I'm starting to lose my voice, by the way, so just bear with me. I've also been filming for two and a half hours. The highlighter uh, is going to be a no I don't think it's terrible. I will keep it. I will probably use it again. Probably not as often as I would like. It shows a lot of texture for me um, and had like a lot of fallout and kind of gritty glitter and it also comes off way more pink. So I just don't think it's just not my formula. It's not my thing. And then the blushes were 45 for three. I think that they're really nice and I think they're right on par for other cream blushes but uh, these are really small and 45 dollars for each one but i believe you can get these individually 45 dollars for all of them i'm sorry not uh, individually yeah so they're 17 dollars for each one so if you have one specifically that you like i think 17 dollars is a perfect price i would buy them for 17 dollars 100 i just wouldn't get all three unless you want all three then treat yourself you know what i mean these were by far my favorite and i actually will be ordering more i'm gonna see if they have different like scents and flavors it was the kylie skin lip balm absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning they smelled great they felt nice my lips were extremely hydrated while i 
did my makeup beforehand and I know you're probably like oh my god they were only on your lips for like five seconds I mean you have to remember a lot of my footage is cut out so <laughs> the hour and a half that I was actually wearing it before you guys actually saw that I started putting on different stuff um like it really did feel nice it didn't taste weird like sometimes I'll get lip balms that smell really nice but they wind up tasting like garbage so or they leave like a weird taste in your mouth but these didn't do that and i think that these are really nice these were 29 dollars. these were definitely hands down my favorite items so i will be looking into it and probably purchasing more of these um and now the last two items are the lip kits uh i think that they're beautiful lip kits i think that you don't need both I would go with whichever one you think you're gonna wear more, the lighter one or the darker one. To me, to be honest, they're not very different. Um, like at all. <laughs> like they're just they're just a smidge, just a smidge different. Nothing crazy. So if if you if like it were me and I had to repurchase these again, I would go with the darker one just because I prefer it that way. And the lighter one was just a little bit more streaky. Um, but again. My new favorite lip combo was the light one and the uh, lip gloss. So I don't know, maybe I will. All in all, I really actually enjoyed this collection. Uh, I have not really enjoyed a Kylie Cosmetics collection in a while. I really did enjoy her brands um, before she closed down and even before that like it just kind of was like I don't know I just kind of fell off but I will honestly say I really 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 enjoyed this um, collection so I don't know. I liked it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you had fun watching me. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. I hope that you have lots of love and lots of joy and you just have so many fun things that you're doing. But I hope that you really did enjoy this video. I hope you like this look. I know it's not very Valentine's-esque, but it's just a, it's a vibe, you know, orange is a vibe. So, and before we leave, just make sure you are subscribed for me. If you're not already, make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload. I do upload three new videos every single week. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up before you leave. And as always, I love you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.